everyone and welcome back and happy new year to you and yours. Wow. <laughs> I am vlogging this week and I thought it would be fun to take you along for my speed cleaning journey slash take down all the Christmas stuff journey slash whatever I get into. So I'm going to be organizing today. I'm going to start by tidying up the dining room, the office area, this room, all of the above. So espresso is real and it affects me in ways that I can't comprehend. So let's do it. <laughs> I woke up on January 1st and I looked at my closet and I said, what's going on? And I took everything out. And this is the result. I have a ton of stuff to go through still and organize, but wow, it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a light load when I'm done. <laughs> I took the garland off the mirror. If you saw my holiday home tour video where we decorated, you know that this was just riddled with garland and lights, and it was all real. So we did throw it away, and I vacuumed. It felt great. It's looking fresh and this has been my at home outfit lately it is everything that I want I mean it's so easy to move around in these are the align leggings from lululemon and I was just thinking to myself I have had these for going on six years I think I got them in 2015 and they are still just as nice and just as comfy as they were when I bought them so great investment gotta say and this is a richer poorer pullover sweatshirt and it has matching pants and i gotta say one of the best <laughs> but super comfy easy to move in and clean in so that's what we want today <laughs> Before I start cleaning the kitchen, Amy's frozen meals have been so good to me. <laughs> I love them. I get the dairy-free options and I gotta say this one and there's like a cashew noodle situation that's so good. The enchiladas are so good. Highly recommend. It fills me up without feeling full, if that makes sense. It's just good stuff. So. I'm gonna heat that up in the day woo. We love a good day woo. Here's what it looks like. It's got kind of a sweet and sour tang vibe to it. It's super good. So, so filling in the best way. I will be good until dinner for sure. So look at the veg. motivated to get back into work mode but I just washed my hair and I wash my hair maybe twice a week and after I use my wet brush and this Olaplex bonding oil it's so good it makes my hair look healthier it's kind of hard to explain but it's a dry oil so I do like five to seven drops in my palm <laughs> and just rub it into my hands and it feels so good and it smells so good and I just go all throughout and the smell alone I'm addicted <laughs> but it just gives it a shine and it makes it feel healthy and it's a heat protectant so I'm a fan I started getting it from the salon I go to and I've been hooked and it lasts me like eight or nine months for that little thing. So it's really good. Love it. 
And then I brush out with my wet brush and get that middle part. And I do have extensions for volume, so I'll try and show you. They're growing out quite a bit right now. It's been since mid-September. I got them and now it's the beginning of January, so it's been about five, four or five months, and they're just fused to my head, and there's 25 of these. So you can kind of tell like the thicker pieces, these are extensions, and they dry wavy, and it just makes my hair so much thicker, and I love them, and I'm never going back. <laughs> um, but today, I think I have a couple errands to run. I want to get something good for dinner because we have some veggies, but I want to get like a piece of salmon or something. I took down all the Christmas stuff this morning. Like I got up early and put on a podcast and just did it. So now we kind of have to put everything away back into the garage, but my hair dries in like, I don't know, 30 minutes. Easy. Easy. Maybe back ribs. Okay. Is there any other thing I need to do? I already did sunscreen, moisturizer, deodorant. <laughs> and I have to work on something really quick and turn something in today. So I'm gonna do that and we'll see where the day takes us. Do you wanna finish that and then go? Um, I mean. Because now I don't have a. I'm down to go anytime because I'd rather like, if I'm home then I can like really get into this as yeah. opposed to feeling like I have to stop at some point. So I feel like I'm already kind of stopping, but I'm at about... I was thinking we could go run that errand really quick and then maybe I could drop you off back here and I could go to Trader's unless you want to come with me. Okay, let's do that. I just need like... 10 minutes? Maybe Five. less, yeah. Okay. Put on my errand clothes. <laughs> just got back from Trader Joe's. I'm going to show you what I got really quick. Baby mini pearl grape tomatoes because I like to make red sauce out of these. Green onions for a little soup idea I have for these. What are they exactly? Dumplings. Chicken and vegetable dumplings. So that'll be really good. I want to do it with a soup. Green onions, mushrooms, all that good stuff. Cauliflower rice, spinach, flowers. Lilies, I think that color of these are gonna be great. I mean, look at that. And then winter peonies, which I mean, any chance I get. And chamomile because it's my fave. And we got a chocolate milk for Bargles. Bargles chocolate milk coming up. And let's see, a wrap. These are my favorite hand sanitizers from Dr. Bronner's. So they smell the best, so good. Lavender, black beans, salsa verde, salsa authentica. Loving popcorn lately. I don't know what the deal is, but I've been having a lot of it. <laughs> this is their organic popcorn with extra virgin olive oil. And avocados that are not ready. That was the trick for those. Oh, an enchilada sauce. Notice I stocked up on a couple things. I used uh, the rest of the one that we had in the fridge last night. So I got two, one to open and one to put into the cabinet and that's it. This is pretty small. Uh, yeah, they didn't have a lot of stuff today, which was kind of irregular, but got what we needed and we're set for the week. Very excited. I'm gonna get these flowers into some water. I'm really excited about that and put everything away. Cleaning up in here, vacuuming where all the garland was. Bargles packed up the tree. It's in the garage now. And I was just wiping down this shelf area. And I'm gonna put these back. And I was, you know, I'm always tempted to just flip through. <laughs> 
Oh, wouldn't it be nice? So I'm gonna put these back and we are having salmon and broccoli courtesy of Bargles. And also I'm gonna leave these lights up for a little bit longer. I really like them. Bargles, do you like the white lights? Yeah, keep them. Keep them. Wow, check out the cozy factor. I had my jeans on and I had to change because we don't turn on our heater. It's actually behind this mirror. <laughs> and it got a little chilly. And these pants are just so long, but I love them. I'm thinking about cutting the bottom for a raw hem, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And I thought I should wash them first in case they shrink a roo, but... This sweatshirt is from Free People. Love it. Year after year. And the pants are H&M. Very soft on the inside. Gotta say. <laughs> no mouth on this one. <laughs> okay. This is salmon preparation with Bargles. Oh, yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna gotta, prep well, these. You gotta make sure first. Oh, all right. I'm just gonna, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. The olive oil. Right? Oil down. <laughs> What are you baking these at? 400. 400. But our, but our oven is our, weak. Yeah, so our might, oven's it weak. might not be a legit 400. Not legit for everyone. <laughs> oh, we've got salt. Salt action. And pep. Pepper action. That's on everything. But the bagel trader. That is the thing. secret. I swear. Get some of that on there. Liberal. It makes it so Any good. Liberal helping. Am I wasting some? You better believe it. <laughs> new year, new me. <laughs> lemon. Mm -hmm. Fresh lemon juice. Oh, I can smell it. Nice. Nice drip drop, dribble drabble. That's it. That's it. Bake it 400 for how long? 20 to 30. Okay. Check it on it. I, I'm sitting on the counter. I also want to show um, one of Bargle's Christmas presents, although we've had this before. The original Japanese barbecue sauce. This is so good. Highly recommend. You can get it on Amazon. Actually, I'll link it below so you get easy access to the link because it's one of our favorite things good for everything and then the s and b crunchy oil crunchy garlic with chili oil very good on everything as well i don't use this as much as bargles does i use the the uh, barbecue sauce more but this is really good on everything too great flavor great flavor i'm gonna use some of that on my salmon <laughs> okay bargles delivered <laughs> salmon looks so good i put some of that japanese barbecue sauce on top broccoli cauliflower rice with sesame oil margles sesame oil ginger garlic good stuff and then a couple little leftover potatoes because we had big potatoes last night great idea bring in the starch <laughs> wow look at yours that's the crunchy chili oil on top what do they say uh dig in <laughs> It's a new day and I went for a run this morning which hasn't happened in a while. <laughs> I actually fell on my hamstring, my right hamstring while I was roller skating probably, I don't know, a month ago and I've just been taking it extra easy just in case. It just felt really sore for a while. I usually run twice a week so took a break but this morning it was so pretty I was feeling motivated and I ran to the pier and back and it was oh it was great I just got an Amazon delivery a new tripod <laughs> I have been on the hunt I don't know why this is so difficult for me to choose one but I would like a sturdier tripod for my DSLR camera um, and I've invested in some, didn't like them. I just didn't like the way that they worked. <laughs> so I got this one. 
and it had really good reviews and I was going to try it out. It's lightweight, which I like and has some gold hardware, which is kind of cool. I still would have gotten this even if it didn't. I can already tell I'm going to like this. It's okay. The way that it attaches the shoe is the thing that attaches to the bottom of the camera that allows it to attach to the tripod. And the way that that is set up here is a little bit different, but that doesn't bother me too much. I like it. I like how it moves really smooth. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right, time to clean. Just tidied up the dresser and cleaned the bedroom a little bit. I still have a few things to take care of. <laughs> but the dresser is clean, which feels really nice. And this chair was just full of stuff. So that was nice to just clear it out. And over here, I swapped out my jewelry organizer that I used to have. I had it for so long. And I recently got a new jewelry box for Christmas that will keep everything nicer and separated and organized. So that's happening. But other than that, favorite Otherland candle for the season, Fall and Fur. So good. Very uh, winter evergreen. <laughs> Love it. I have a little catch-all for my rings. I just have one ring in there right now. A couple books, a journal, and... I actually got these two things for Christmas. So the Capri Blue Volcano room spray. Whoa. I usually don't like room sprays, but this one is so good. It smells just like the candle from Anthro. Love that smell. One of my favorites. And then this is the Glossier U perfume, which I've been wanting to try forever. I got a sample of it and then Bargles got me this for Christmas. So I really like it so far. I'll keep you posted. This lamp I've been wanting to replace for quite a while, like maybe six months, uh, six to nine months. <laughs> and I just want something a little bit more simple, maybe something with a shade over the top, uh, maybe something a little bit smaller. I feel like for this area in particular, I feel like just something little with a shade would be nice. Maybe a round base with a nice shade. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I still need to clean up out in the main area, but I have a little bit of work to do, so I'm gonna wrap that up and see if I have time to tidy. I feel like it always gets pushed. I feel like this vlog is just me saying I'm gonna clean up, <laughs> and then I don't kind of today. That worked. I mean, it feels really good in here, so accomplishment number one bedroom. Uh, we'll get to the other stuff later, but we're definitely doing pasta tonight. So I'm really excited about that. I have a new pasta to try. It's a chickpea pasta. Ooh, the train is nice and... <laughs> Must be rush hour. <laughs> Oh, Bargles, I need the, um, here, you go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna get out the garlic. <laughs> Where the oh. frick is it? Where's the, do we still have that garlic? You know what I'm talking about. Bargles! Bargles camp, so what are- Are you filming? Okay. Are you ready for pasta? So what is in this? Okay, so. Tonight, I am making red sauce. We're using minced garlic because I really don't feel like crushing up garlic right now. <laughs> Cherry tomatoes that Bargles cut up. And mushrooms. And did you know I'm gonna add some of the sour cream to make it kind of creamy? It's dairy-free sour cream, milk-free. Oh, I see. And we're gonna use this Bonza chickpea pasta for the first time. I don't know if you're gonna like it. Oh, I see. <laughs> Okay, Clarice. In the always pan. Oh, do you want to show the remains of our soft pretzel uh, from two hours ago? Yeah, it's just it's just salt now. It's just salt now. Okay, the always pan is hot. 
I'm going to use Brightland Basil Olive Oil. What was that? <laughs> it was cool, huh? <laughs> I'm just going to do a dollop of Daisy. Just like that. And then use a little bit more. A little splash? Oh. A little splash of root. Oh, will you get out the, um, the Mykonos butter, please? It's in the butter section. <laughs> oh. The butter section? Oh. Yeah. One of them has half and one of them is full. This must be the one. This is food, please. What do they say in, um... This is me. No, uh... This is where we wanna be. This is me. <laughs> like butter. Tastes like butter. A lot. Scalpel. You smell that, Bargles? You smell that? No. It's kind of hot. Since it's kind of hot, I'm gonna go for a sec. So we're gonna cook the mushrooms down a little bit, and then the tomatoes will go in after that. Salt, pep, pep. Well, talk about a lazy Susan. Does he want to move? This is my non-dominant hand. Look how look at me, Marks. Look how good I'm doing. You are <laughs> a champ. Look at that. Ambidextrous. Nope. <laughs> no. Okay, tomatoes in. Tomatoes in. Cherry tomatoes cut by Bargles. These will cook down, sir. And then we're gonna add. Did you have the pep over there? Oh no, I have it. Oh, well then. <laughs> Look at all the pepper we got. There's a lot of pep. All right, those are going to cook down. So what did you say is happening? Oh, here we are. <laughs> here we are, uh, the juices are being released oh, from right. the tomatoes. And as soon as that kind of lets up a little bit, when the juice starts to kind of evaporate, I'll add the wine. And then, you know, that's when it's almost done. Party size meatballs, do you want to show it? <laughs> We're gonna put these in there. <laughs> it's a weeknight. Weeknight meals with Bargles and Barbarella. This is the first time I'm gonna do this though. Should I try? I think at the very end. It's a very, very, very mild sour cream. Taste. At the very end. Okay. Oh. <laughs> What's that from? You know, I really wish we had a two buck chuck for this. But wow, this the bottom goes up pretty far. <laughs> it says to expect foam on the directions. It says... So it's a foamy bunch. It's a foamy bunch. It says cook to desired firmness, stirring occasionally. Approx eight to ten mins. Expect some foam. Ready? We're gonna go, uh, one one thousand. <laughs> Stir it in. And add a little bit of salt, which got all over the freaking stove somehow. <laughs> I'd say throw the meatballs in the sauce and put the lid on it. 
Yeah. Watch out for foam. We're gonna be watching for foam with the Banza, Bonza. still will even though the balls are in I'm still gonna put in pasta water this is probably all out of order but you know what I can make a wild guess and say that it's gonna taste all right what do you think Margles <laughs> you're right <laughs> everything's backwards about this okay here she is there's the final product and I gotta say I tried the pasta and it's so good has a hint of chickpea but there's only four ingredients so I really like that the sauce is Great. Uh, what do you say when you want to dig in? Let her rip. Let her rip. It is the next day, as I say, and it's actually the end of the day, almost. We've got a 429 on the clock. I'm with Bargles in the car. He's driving, he's concentrating, keeping me safe. He's dancing. <laughs> We're heading to one of our favorite beaches, just to get out of the house for a sec, maybe take some pics. And although it's looking a little foggy, <laughs> nevertheless, we will get fresh air, and I think that we'll have fun. Right, Bargles? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I don't think Bargles has been in this video enough. That's what I think. <laughs> See the crossover? See that crossover? Kind of cool. See how it crosses over? You know where I got this? Guess. Anthropology? No. Nope. Your mother? No. Nope. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings? No. Nope. <laughs> Farmer's Market? No. Nope. Madewell? No. Nope. Where did I go all the time? Your Plato's Closet? No, I don't. Urban Outfitters? No. Target. Oh. Uh, that was my next guess. Yeah, right, Bargo. Do you think that people come here in the middle of the night? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, for sure. Like who? People that come here in the middle of the night. Yeah. I've never been this far down. Zoomed in. Smile. Oh, I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, get that bird. Get that bird. Come on. Try to copy what I say. We're gonna, gonna walk, walk back, back to, to the, the car, car now. now because, because maybe it's dinner time. And, and when, when my stomach goes wrong. Wrong. It's time, time to, to eat Popeyes. Pop oh, pop Popeyes. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah, this, this beach is like my stomach. <laughs> Big and empty. Big and empty. <laughs> Whoa, look at the sun. Wait a minute. Wow, it looks so different in real life. Look at that. It's coming. Burgles, we should just wait until it goes, right? Just wait till it goes. It got dark real quick. We got out of there. It's deceivingly bright in the camera. So, you know, magic is taking place uh, in more places than one. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And if you have not subscribed, you know what to do. It's down below. Give it a little like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>